in today's video we're going to be talking about the wind turbine which we have more components that are here for that what you see in here right now is called a bridge three-phase rectifier a, a three-phase rectifier is a device that's responsible for conversion from AC to DC a bridge rectifier is an electric electrical device which converts an alternating current into a direct one by allowing current to flow through in one direction so this is the electricity can flow only in one direction that's what a um, um, a rectifier is um, defined as so if you can see here the model I have here, you guys can see, is the H, a GH, and I see it looks like a, um, a Chinese model, but this is the SQL 100 1000 volt. So I decided to go with the 100 amp. 1000 volt. The reason why I decided to go with uh, 100 amp or 1000 volt is because it's a standard test condition at the lab. They can tell you that this wind turbine can only give you um, maybe 200 volt, but it happens when you have a heavy winds, and so your wind turbine can provide or can give out a lot of electricity which is uh, alternating current that we use in in our houses if you take an electric bulb and put into that three phase wire that gives you that 400 and some plus i think it's 480 volt and it will light a bulb a light bulb or electrical appliances if the wind is consistent so I decided to go with a big one is a hundred amp and a thousand volt because if it happens the voltage has to be um, uh, fluctuated or maybe end up having a higher output then um, my rectifier can still handle it and deliver the exact power that um, the wind turbine um, that the charge controller needs to uh, to do the job. So at this juncture, you can see they have a, uh, uh, a one face or single face to um, a three face. They have different ones. Some of them have only two prongs here. So I'll explain this on the wind turbine. This is what you have coming out. Okay? It's three wires. They're all gonna be black or different colors, but it's gonna be three or three wires, which we call in America they're hot hot wires. They're hot. On a 200 volt or 220, 240, we have like if it's a split face in America, then you have 120 here, 120 here. But this is a three phase. So whatever this face is, this is what this face is going to be. This face is going to be. So they're all the same face, the same voltage. And what happened, it steps it down, it converted. Just like an inverter or as a diode. They act like a diode, it only goes one direction. See, it's a directional. One way, it doesn't go different ways. So this is what it is. See our diodes, they travel. They have diodes on uh, solar panels and they travel in one direction so it doesn't let you um, uh, power to go in the reverse because you don't want to drain your batteries um, at night. I've seen other people using um, diodes on a wind turbine which is a, a big one and they get so hot and uh, you can see this one that's why it has a heat sink on it the reason I purchased this one it has a heat sink not just a heat sink it has holes here then you can able to 
screw to a heat sink, a bigger heat sink. I will try to uh, make a, another video with a big heat sink that we're going to be utilizing these boys. So you can screw direct all the way here. Like uh, some people use like a thermal paste they use on the computers like um, your your processor. So the processor is going to be jump something like here and they got this one, the paste down here and just put on the heat sink. So this one helps, the heat sink helps this diode here or this rectifier here to cool down so it can be too hot. So it dissipate the heat so fast because it's coming from is a higher conversion from um, um, to 400 and something volts or 300 and something volt depends what the wind speed is and that's the time it's going to do the conversion and drop it down to your battery uh, to a DC specification which you can able to use um, a 200 volt or 150 volt or 200 volt. it depends what the diode is going to give you um, this resistor sorry this rectifier is able to um, give you out so at this point we don't know what the turbine is gonna give out and what the conversion and how this one whole process is gonna go because we have to know here you can see a positive sign right there yeah, so the positive negative. So this is what goes to your charge controller. Okay. This one goes to your charge controller. The positive. Goes to the charge controller negative. Go into a box bar. Whatever. And uh, this guy. Don't make sure you don't put it on a wall. You don't put it on a wood. If it's a wall. Like a paper wall. Or maybe like this. Um, uh, how you call them? This uh, shit rock thing, they will get your house on fire. So make sure you put this thing in a metal place or something where you can mount it or it doesn't sit just like a normal wood or something like a countertop. It will burn it. Just remember it's electricity and it's heat. It's a lot of resistance on that thing and just great heat. So the other ones you can see, it's just what it did here, I think they just took the entire rectifier like this they drop it into this case and they pour all this glue into it to get the heat sink embedded into it but it's a uh, diodes literally it's a diodes here so correct me if i'm wrong but that's what it is so this heat sink just help it to cool down to dissipate the heat so fast so you can get this thing way hot so guys this is what i have for uh bridge rectifiers i decided to get two in case one burnt out we always gonna have another one and um or we are getting a second wind turbine well we have to test and see the performance stay tuned for that because now all the components are almost here for this test Pretty soon we can have to test the generator or the uh, the turbine and see the power that it's going to make. Then I'm going to do a quick connection into this ones here. Then we can put a, a test probes here for a, a multimeter and we can able to test how much voltage per RPM that we can able to spin that turbine and uh, test here and I'm gonna go further you not know, just testing it and get this one to a charge controller from a charge controller is going to the batteries the wire going this going to a charge controller from charge controller inputs and goes output all the way to the battery I'll try to make a video of that not just to install it yet so that we can just see the preliminary uh, methods that we're gonna be taking the just the baby steps for other people to understand it before it's gonna be mounted or it's gonna be for permanent uh, uh, install we want to make sure we test this thing works make sure rectifiers are working make sure that um, the uh, generator is giving out power like and subscribe JW Solar USA
bye for now stay tuned for that test that's coming up pretty soon okay all right love you guys all if you like this video subscribe like and share like sql 100 amp 1000 volt i've seen the other ones which are 100 amps at 1600 volt it depends what you want to use it for so this is what we're going to do and see whatever the turbine power is going to be making out i know we're not going to be able to spin that but we'll do the best what we can do bye for now